if this fight had happened six years ago, is your strategy now for May 2nd different than it would have been then? I'm glad, honestly, Teddy, I'm glad this fight is happening now because I don't think this fight would have been as big. So, but my strategy is always just to be smart and keep my composure. Mm -hmm. That's always the game plan. So we, we've heard two different things from you today. We heard it's just <laughs> another fight for Floyd Mayweather. Then we also heard you never wanted to win a fight so much in your life. Explain those two things. Um, it's a fight that I want to win extremely bad, of course. Yep. But it's still just another fight. Mm -hmm. But I still want to win extremely bad, but still, it's, he's just another fighter. You know, I feel that he's facing Floyd Mayweather, and I'm facing just another opponent. Right. But, but he's a guy that I know. He's just a, another opponent. That's how I've looked at all 47 guys that I faced. I never looked at, a, looked at a guy's name. I know his name is Manny Pacquiao, but I look right. at him as just another opponent. Mm -hmm. And that's how I'm able to go out there and do what I do best. You know, I don't really worry about a guy's record. I don't worry about a guy's name. I go out there and say, you know what? He's just another guy. I got to go out there and do what I do best. Right. Having said that, and I understand that mindset. That has been what's gotten you here. Absolutely. That's what's kept this. That's zero at the end of your record. Keeping that focused, singular mindset on each fight. Yes. But having said that, this is going to be the biggest money-paying fight in the history of this sport. <laughs> Okay. You say money and the smile just breaks out immediately. Yeah, of <laughs> is is in some degree is Manny Pacquiao your Joe Frazier to Muhammad Ali that that you know really that you need for that legacy at the end of the day because sooner or later you're going off into that sunrise with all the money and I'm very happy you're going to have all that money. <laughs> Very happy. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. But well, we all need that one big one. And I Ali think, needed Frazier. I think that people are so used to seeing me make extraordinary fighters look ordinary. So they feel that I don't really have a rival. To whereas when Pacquiao beat Miguel Cotto, he fought him at a catchweight. Mm -hmm. When Manny Pacquiao beat Oscar De La Hoya, he beat him at a catchweight. To where I never, I beat Oscar at the weight that he chose. I beat Cotto at the weight that he chose. So there's a difference. I never fought a drained Oscar De La Hoya, or I didn't fight a drained Miguel Cotto. I fought the guys when they were at the top of their game. You said something interesting in the press conference about being undefeated, that you, you never tasted defeat. Every time you've ever stepped into a ring, you've won. What kind of confidence does that give you, knowing the outcome's always been the same? Um, I feel like if a fighter has lost before, losing is in his mind. Mm -hmm. To whereas all I've done was win. So winning is in my mind. From day one, I was breeded to be a fighter and to be a winner.